Busy News Tuesday. President Biden made his way to the Electric City today to campaign and visit his hometown. 2822 News had full team coverage on the visit and it continues tonight as he spends a night in Scranton. And 2822 News reporter Emily Allegrucci joins us right outside of a Scranton hotel where the president is believed to be staying to tell us about the busy day today. Emily. Good evening, Nick. Although it is not confirmed, it is believed that President Joe Biden is spending the night here at the Radisson in Scranton. As you can see all around me, there is still a large police presence surrounding the outside of the hotel and even some road closures keeping people from entering. Now, this sort of busyness was seen all throughout Scranton today as the president made his way through the electric city. For President Biden, this visit to NEPA wasn't an ordinary campaign stop. When he stepped off Air Force One Tuesday afternoon, it was a visit to a place he once called home. Scranton's a place that climbs into your heart and it never leaves. I mean that sincerely. It's home that's a special thing that, that's in your heart. For me, it was 2446 North Washington Avenue. After touchdown at Wilkes-Barre Scranton International, the president made his way to the Scranton Cultural Center to tout his new tax plan, one he says will benefit middle-class families. Where we grew up knowing in our homes that Wall Street didn't build this country, the middle class built this country, and unions built the middle class. Mr. Biden's message seemed to please some NEPA voters. It hit all the points with the taxes, taxing the rich, making sure they pay. A lot of us are suffering. I'm a single mom myself with three kids. I'm divorced. I'm trying to re-enter the workforce. It's been extremely difficult. The president's visit means security is tight, and that means road closures and traffic. It also means protesters fill the streets of the electric city. So Joe Biden didn't, didn't win. We all know it. We've seen the videos, and but they just don't want to acknowledge it. But many supporters were out to see the president in person, in the place he used to call home. It's always great to have President Biden in the area. Uh, he's never forgot the area since he uh, left when he was about 10 years old. You know, he keeps coming back, and uh, he keeps the support that he's always had. President Biden finished Tuesday evening in Scranton by making a welcome stop at his childhood home. We love you. Followed by final remarks at the United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners of America, Local Union 445, to keep voters on board come elections. With your help, I've been able to get a lot done that no one thought could get done. We've been able to get a lot done. There's so much more we have to do, but we can't do it. But we have to win. And it's down to old fashioned politics. Now, as mentioned, the president will be spending the night in the Electric City, but his tour of the Keystone State will continue tomorrow when he departs for Pittsburgh. We will continue to follow the president's stay, so stick with us on air and on web for the latest. Emily Allegrucci reporting live from Scranton, sending it back to you in the studio, Nick. Thanks, Emily.